A clean butt is a happy butt, whether it be for gay intimacy purposes, happy pride, or for general butt cleanliness. And I truly feel like in American society today, we have truly lost the plot when it comes to cleaning our butts. Like in today's day and age, I feel like it's so normalized to have skid marks or to use super dry one ply toilet paper, like a couple swipes and I'm good. Or I've like talked to my gay friends and acquaintances and nowadays apparently people are cool with bottoming without douching and having accidents and like that's normal apparently. And I just have the ick with like all of this. So I do wanna talk today about how I personally clean my butt and like what measures I take when I'm in public or when I'm seeing a dude or just literally in general at home to ensure that my butt is as clean as possible to the best of my ability. So stay tuned if you want my tips on how to clean your butt in the best way possible. Before I get started, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the links below for my full visual bottoming course and my discreet douche kits, fully discreet and shipped right to your doorstep. Okay, so first off, let's talk about bidets because I feel like this is crazy that like Americans just don't have, like not all Americans have bidets in their homes and like no public places have bidets installed on their toilets because I feel like we're living in like the 1800s. Like it's actually crazy because last summer I went to Japan and literally every hotel, every toilet I saw, whether it be at like a super ratchet park or like a five star hotel, they all had bidets. And I'm not saying that like bidets are always going to be clean if they're in public, but like at least they're there and like the option is there. I feel like I truly don't understand why we don't invest more money and like effort into installing bidets in every home and every toilet in America. Because bidets, for people that don't know, are basically things on your toilet that spray water into your butthole or like onto your butthole after you shart and it basically cleans your hole for you and you don't need to like wipe any like excess poop. When you wipe after using a bidet, you're basically just wiping too dry as it should be. Like that's literally how it should be. Like I love TP, but only too dry. I don't like when I wipe my butt and there's literally a chunk of poop like stuck on the butthole and I'm like trying to literally just smear the poop until it's like slowly gone. And I just like, I can't stand it. So I personally use a bidet every single day. Every single time I shart on the toilet, I use my bidet at least five to six times. Like I literally press it, go like through a round of douche, not douching. I press it, I go through a round of bideting and then I press it again and again and again until I feel like my butt is fully clean. Cause I feel like even with one round of spraying water onto my hole, I don't feel like it's fully clean. So I go like five to six times. It's a little bit crazy too, because when I was growing up, I was born in Indonesia, Jakarta, Indonesia. And over there, you know, it was like, we didn't have bidets everywhere, but it was normalized to wash our butts after pooping. So for me personally, I had like a babysitter and like, I also had a maid. So she would like basically wash my butt for me until I was like old enough to wash my butt myself. And when I first came to America with my mom, I actually literally took a shower every time I pooped, like after every single time I pooped to wash my butt. And if I wasn't taking a full shower, I would sit like, I would like crouch down and like make sure that my butt was like, there would be like a bathtub and I would just like put my butt under the running water and like it was kind of gross because like poop would like get over get all over the bathtub but that was what i did because i wanted my butthole to be clean and so the first thing that any everyone needs to do is get a bidet installed in your home and use that after every single time that you poop so that when you wipe you're only drying your hole you're not literally trying to scrape any poop chunks off your butt that's disgusting just spray your hole with a bidet okay that should be fully fully normalized 
Now, the second thing that I do to keep my hole clean at all times is I bring like a pack of poop wipes everywhere I go. Like I always have poop wipes in my car, I have poop wipes in my backpack, I have poop wipes in my luggage. Like anytime I'm going out in public and I know that like I haven't taken like my three daily poops, I will bring poop wipes because I just know that like one ply TP at a public place is not going to cut it. One ply toilet paper should be literally delegalized. It should be a crime for an establishment to just have one ply TP because one ply TP is so weak. I'm so tired of like, it's also so dry. Like I'm so tired of TP in general. Like this is why you need poop wipes. Like TP is so dry and so weak that like every single time I use TP, I have to spit on it because sometimes there's no faucet like in bathrooms. Like sometimes like the bathroom is like communal or whatever so you can't go to the sink to like wet it if i have the whole bathroom to myself in public i will definitely get rolls and rolls of tp and like wet it and like wipe my butt with it because that's how you actually clean it i'll add soap to it i'll use whatever i could find but that's besides the point usually there's that is not an option so you literally have to spit on the tp on like rolls of it and then when you're like wiping your butt sometimes your finger pokes through the tp and then you accidentally like put your finger like in poop basically and i just feel like it's so gross and so it should be a crime okay like to use one ply tp in public like literally just invest in two ply i will immediately love the establishment so much more but going back to my point i always bring poop wipes because of this issue. If I bring a pack of poop wipes, I can literally just wipe my butt after I poop. It's not as good as a bidet, but like at least the poop wipes are flushable, one. They're moist, they're thick, and they feel good on the skin. So I personally always get Cottonelle. I have used Dude Wipes before. I will link both of those in my Amazon storefront, link below. But any like those are the best wipes that i've ever used personally they smell good too so i definitely recommend bringing poop wipes with you everywhere you go because it's disgusting if you just wipe your hole and your poop with toilet paper i feel like it's never going to be truly clean granted you won't ever be truly clean until you take your next shower which by the way i feel like some people don't clean their buttholes which is disgusting um but at least with the moist wipes it's already way cleaner than if you were to just use TP and your spit, you know? Actually, fun fact, before I wanted to buy, like, flushable toilet wipes, before I did any of this when I was in college, I was so grossed out by just TP. I literally used Clorox wipes on my hole when I was in college, and it didn't hurt, but, like, I knew that that wasn't good, but I did it anyway for, like, a year. Anyway, yeah, invest in some flushable poop wipes. Cottonelle, dude wipes, check them out in my Amazon storefront down below. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about is actually not even for like general cleanliness. I'm talking about like just bottoming stuff. I cannot believe it when gay guys tell me that they're like cool with not douching and just seeing a hot dude. I find that to be gross and I find that to be bad because I feel like when you're not clean down there, it's going, things are not going to feel good. So personally for me, when I was first starting out as a gay person, I used like the red enema bulb that like everyone could find on Amazon. But then um, a year and a half ago, I actually, or two years ago, two years ago, I got to do this ad for a company that I love and they offered to wholesale a bunch of douches that I love. Like, I would buy them in bulk, and then I would also like, because I sell douche kits, right? So I would get just one product in bulk. My computer just turned off. I would get like one product in bulk, and then I would like add a bunch of stuff to my kit, and then I could put that on my website. So I do want to plug in my douche kits today because we genuinely have the best douches on the market. So this is what you get if you order a douche kit at the links below for my shop. So you get, obviously, this is an ugly box because this is like a failed order because the person moved away, but it probably will not look this ugly. It's fully discreet, by the way. So in the box, you get an enema bulb, right? That's the first thing you see. And it is legitimately the best enema bulb you'll ever find on the market, and I seriously mean it. This is how it looks. First of all, it's super sexy. And 
One problem that I had with the red enema bulb that I like grew up with, I guess, when I was first starting out as like a naive gay was you, it could hold like a lot of water, you know, that typical red bulb that you always see or like the blue one. And so I was always never too sure about like how much to pump in to clean my butt. So this one is perfect because this one actually holds the perfect amount of water. I've t tested this out so many, so, so many times and it's actually, it's like such a, it's not too big. It's just the perfect one squeeze and that's enough water for you. I also really just love how like the hole here is so big. It's, it was so, such a hassle for me to put water in like my red enema bowl because the hole to put the water in is so, so small. So I love like, it. I just turn on the faucet, it goes in super quick and easy. It also has this like straw that uh, pulls water from the bottom of the bulb. I couldn't stand it when like I would use the red bulb and then like sometimes I would because you know how like for the red bulb there was no straw down here so it was basically like this and if there was no water all the way up here it was hard to squeeze water into your butt so I would literally have to like go at different angles and like I would have to like really squeeze it to make sure that like the water pressure was correct but now with this I don't have to worry anymore because it's always going to pull water because the straw pulls water from the bottom of the bulb gravity pulls water down yada 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 and last but not least i mean there's so many literal there are so many good things about this bulb but i can't talk about all of them you can check out the website down below for a full list got a long list of douche benefits they'll tell you i'm clean um this tip right here is also super bendable and sturdy at the same time so i actually got like a fissure from using a bad bulb before because the tip was harsh and i also didn't put lube on the tip so it just like literally cut me and i bled but this no issues with this super easy to clean just open it up clean it the hole is big it's just perfect so that's why i really stand by this enema bulb and i think you should also get one four rounds of douching and i'm like literally fully clean down there and this kit also comes with an extra nozzle and um voila a bottle of lube a instruction manual so you can have like exact directions for how to use the bulb and the lube and also a condom because we only practice safe sex here and so yeah that is all i wanted to talk to you guys about today that is pretty much how i clean my butt and i feel like we need to normalize cleaning our butts more bottom or not gay or not like we need to we need to start holding we need to start holding people accountable because it's so gross it, that sounded like a fart it was not a fart it was literally just me closing this bulb i think it's so gross and so disgusting to not use a bidet i think it's gross to only use regular toilet paper and i also think it's gross to not douche your butt before you go see somebody sorry that's just that's just how i think and if you agree with me then kudos to you because we have the same brain and you're also not gross so good for you pat yourself on the back thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please like my video and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the links below for my full visual bottoming course, my douche kits, and to book me on Cameo, and all my other links. I will also link my Amazon storefront down below for those poop wipes that I love. Please leave a comment suggesting what you'd like to see next. I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon.